this is not the answer either. This government has made is a practical way to help all countries that are emitting from agriculture. And this is your 25%. And no, we don't. We don't pay the government. We're not doing enough. We're not doing enough. We're not doing enough. We're not doing enough. Oh, why do you hate my future? Um, we support the goal of 100% renewable energy by 2025, and we think that's achievable uh, because we're already quite a way out there. We're above 70%. Um, we also support uh, the Greens program for uh, a price on carbon. What do the Greens do? Well, the first is the only party of the four major parties that actually. It's <laughs> 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 opposes the, uh, the emissions trading system because it just doesn't work. Uh, and the um, carbon kind of charge is a possibility, but we want to see uh, what uh, Generation Zero has proposed and what is done in the United Kingdom and in Denmark, which is best practice to look at how best to reduce the amount of fossil carbon that gets used. They have carbon taxes. Yes. Yes. We can make biofuel. Yeah? We can run cars on biofuel. It's cleaner, it's cheaper, it's more efficient. Do it. Thank you, Alistair. Yeah. I might happily tell you that. Now, the last question, Mr. Patel. And then we have a question from Rolly here, and we have to wrap it up because as you can see, it's after quarter past nine. Thank you, Brian. Um, I like all of you to answer, but mainly four, four main parties will be. Yeah. <laughs> and the question is what would be your multi party? Would you agree to multi party on following issues? Education, immigration, Population, law and order. Number one question. Number two question is. by setting up a green investment bank in clean tech energy technologies in, in, uh, in the country. Two, tax incentives through the climate tax cut, including a reduction in the, in the uh, uh, company tax. Um, and three, uh, to spend a billion dollars a year, sorry, to increase um, R&D funding by a billion dollars over three years. That will particularly benefit Wellington because this is the centre of innovation. We've got ICT companies, energy companies, we've got Crown Research Institutes and we've got universities, we would particularly benefit from the Greens proposals for the economy here. Thank you, James, Democrats for social career. <laughs> Peter. So the education system, a lot of us in the kingdom so far, university costs $100 only. Oh, yes. And the, uh, regarding upgrading green employment, unfortunately it's in, uh, where the government, government is uh, that we evaluate upgrading this by the state government departments here in Wellington. <laughs> Thank you.
could say we could just expand shit on that deal. We can sit back in here. It is around that on the ICT sector particularly, and making sure that we grow that, build off the other um, tertiary institutions, be proud of being a public sector. I'm proud that we're the capital city of New Zealand, we've got the public sector here, we should build off that. But I have to do one practical thing in Wellington, it's that at the moment we've got the day, we've got the stadium, and in the middle we've got this thing called the TSB Event Centre, which is acoustically the worst concert venue. <laughs>
disadvantaged and on the street and difficult cases in Wellington is absolutely second uh, to none. I think he's an outstanding MP and if I wasn't the MP I'd have no, no problem voting for him at all. Thanks very much for coming. I'd like to get to put your hands together first. 